Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. It is June 19th and we are packing up to go home to Georgia today. Um, our flight leaves at 1 p.m. and it is currently 10.30. We had these really good tacos last night and we are craving them again today. So I think Ryan might pick them up before we head to the airport. And Sophie's coming with us. We're actually going to go home for I think like two weeks or something and we're also going to take a little trip to the beach so i'm excited for these vlogs um but yes we are flying to georgia and we will be taking like all the precautions needed we'll be wearing face masks i'll definitely try to keep you guys as informed as possible of like what it looks like traveling during this pandemic I don't know how free my hands will be just because I am going to be carrying Sophie as one of my carry-ons. It's truly a struggle to pack for two weeks because that's just so much stuff that has to be like under 50 pounds. We're actually flying Southwest Airlines and I've heard they're being really good about like the CDC guidelines and stuff like that. So like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. I feel like clothes aren't the issue when it comes to like being overweight. It's like the makeup and then especially for me, like the technology. I plan on carrying a lot of my technology in my camera backpack as a carry-on. But I just want to pop on the vlog and start it off for today um, I'm really excited to be going home because I don't think I've been home since December And at first I was like no we should stay here because it's Ryan's birthday tomorrow But I'm really excited to see my family and just be in my hometown so it'll be good My camera bag is filled to the brim. It's gonna be so heavy And we're all ready to go I am sweating under this mask. My hair is literally wet from this hat. Security was not long at all, but I had a lot of electronics like always, so it was a process. makeup on my mask um, but Sophie is doing so well for some reason she loves to get in that little carrier to Atlanta and good news our bags made it we actually checked in a little late which was like really three minutes after late <laughs> um, but they said like oh your bags might make it they might not and we were like good to know thank you for that <laughs> so we were just like hoping and praying that they were gonna make it and we're very thankful for that because it would have been like a very big hassle to come back here because at the Atlanta airport is like not very close to our hometown um, like it is in Austin so Ryan's mom is picking us up soon and Sophie's been such a good girl on the plane and even like in the airport she like loves this carrier I do not know why but it's nice <laughs> and I'm like also thankful for that because I usually she like scratches it on the plane and she did a couple times but like for the most part she was really really good hey y'all it is sunday i didn't really vlog that much yesterday it was actually ryan's birthday and i wanted to vlog so bad but we didn't do anything crazy we literally just ate all day <laughs> um so i didn't vlog that but hopefully we'll do like a fun day when we get back to austin um and i just wanted to quickly talk about like the traveling because that was the earlier part of the vlog and i guess i didn't really wrap up my thoughts i guess i just want to say that i don't really like encourage you guys to travel just because obviously we're in a pandemic but I also don't want to be hypocritical and say that um, I did want to come home I haven't come home since like December and both me and Ryan are working from home right now so we thought it was like a good opportunity to like spend time with our families at home the airport was a little bit more packed than I thought it would be um, but 
I mean, me and Ryan had our own row and usually like the middle seat would be open. At least I know that Southwest is not fully booking their flights out. So definitely research like the airlines and like what they're doing to kind of prevent um, the spread of the virus. If you guys have recently traveled, leave any advice down below because you know, people are probably just really curious about how it's going. Um, but I can really only speak for like the Austin and Atlanta airport. But I wanted to do a quick unboxing of a really exciting bag that I just got in the mail. This bag is from Teddy Blake and this video is not sponsored, it's just gifted. But they actually gifted me a bag in college and I still use it to this day. Like it is my main bag. It's like a black kind of like tote bag, not a tote bag because it's a little bit smaller. Um, but it holds like everything and it's so amazing. It's held up so well over the past like, I want to say like three years maybe maybe two but i feel like it, it's been three with the bag so we decided to work together again and i'm like so excited because it's funny i actually told ryan the other day like before they reached out like oh i really want to like look into getting a new bag from teddy blake because they were so good and they reached out like the next day i was like damn did i really manifest that or what <laughs> here is the reveal of the bag it is so pretty oh my gosh this is what the bag looks like it is Stunning. It kind of like looks like that Gucci bag or I don't know. I'm not really amazing with designer bags, but this is what it looks like and let's take this stuff out. My dad's like telling me to hurry up because we have to go, but this is what it looks like on the inside. So it has like a really nice red lining and I feel like it's a good amount of space to hopefully carry my vlog camera in um, and the material is kind of like a suede -ish material. Um, and the chain has a gold detail, which I'm loving because I wear like all gold. This is my new bag. Oh, and it has like, I guess one, oh wait, no, wait, no, I'm confused. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is the chain, so you can hold it, um, long ways, or you can kind of hold it like that on your arm. It is so cute. I will have a link down below to this bag. Um, I think the quality is amazing. So if you are in the market for a new purse, then definitely check out Teddy Blake because they have so many original bags and also look likes. The best thing about these bags are that they are premium Italian leather. So they are made in Italy and they are beautiful. The quality is so good and you don't have to pay like that added on like $1,000, $2,000 just because it's labeled as like a designer bag. So these are literally the same exact quality, but just so much cheaper. We're connecting my dad's new drone. He got the Mavic Air. Me and my dad always bond over technology and he always like gets the latest and greatest. So he got the Mavic Air, like I said, and I'm gonna teach him how to use it. I shoot with the Mavic 2 Pro, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit similar. I know this is like the mini version, so probably like a little bit user, more user friendly, hoping so. It's currently 5 p.m. and I don't know if I told you all about this, but my phone got pretty bad water damage and because the screen was already cracked and it like rained on one of my shoots and there was like water that got into my the screen i guess so it's like pretty glitchy and it's been that way since when did i shoot i, I want to say like monday so that sucked but luckily my dad had a phone laying around i think this is just like an iphone 8 plus i think that's what it is definitely a downgrade but honestly i'm so happy that i did not have to spend my own money to like get another phone or just like get this phone fixed because i want the new phone in september so i want to save my money for that but right now i'm watching emma rose on youtube i think her instagram name is emma ledger i that's how I knew her on Instagram. I always saw her on my Explore page, but I actually recently fell in love with her YouTube channel. Um, just like her vlogs and stuff, they're just so fun to watch. 
but I am, was also thinking about filming a swimsuit try on haul for Cup She because I'm gonna do a video with them, not sponsored, but just gifted. But it looks like it's gonna rain soon and I'm sad because I wanted to film it outside because my dad has like a really nice backyard. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to probably wait till tomorrow, but it sucks because I already have my makeup and hair done today, but whatever. All these gray clouds are out, so sad. It was honestly such a pretty day when we were eating lunch, but I guess it did say it was gonna rain later today, but hopefully it doesn't last too long. It's currently 6 p.m. and I was taking a nap and my dad woke me up and they changed the reservation tonight to 7 p.m. instead of 8.30, so I got ready really fast and we're gonna go to MF Sushi Bar, which I'm actually excited about because first of all, sushi, I love sushi. And second of all, I have not tried MF and my dad's been raving about it for years now, so really pumped to try that. I'm kind of sad because I forgot to show you guys my outfit this morning, but I'm planning on re-wearing it to the beach, so I'll save it for then. But for now, I wanted to share with you guys my outfit of the night. This outfit really isn't anything special, but I feel like my style is kind of like evolving into more like simplistic looks, so I wanted to to share it for memories and just to show you guys. You guys may recognize this top. It was in my Forever 21 haul recently. It's just like a thick strapped um, crop top. And then these jeans are from Zara. They are the straight leg high rise jeans. They are so great. I love them. I'm obsessed. And then my purse obviously is Teddy Blake. Just unboxed it this morning and I think it looks so classic with my outfit. It just gives it a little bit more fancy vibes, I feel like. And I just noticed it is actually raining outside, so hopefully I can grab a sweater for my suitcase. Ryan is currently on his way over to my dad's house, so we're gonna leave in a few. Hello. Hmm? Hi. Ryan is officially 23. How do you feel? Same. Actually, is it the least climactic birthday i think <laughs> seriously that's why i didn't really vlog but i said we would do, we would do. Okay. just got home from sushi and there's a beautiful sunset it's like pink and the clouds are so pretty yeah I don't know. oh there we go you can kind of tell but it's better behind the trees over there and lots of good sushi got a nice birthday present from her dad mm -hmm. a nice guy <laughs> my dad just called me for like five seconds <laughs> said my dad just called me for like five seconds mm, that's sad. my dad's a good dad yeah he is tomorrow I want to um, go swimming and then fly the drone and get like a cool aerial shot. I have like this whole vision and everything. Um, so hopefully we can do that tomorrow. But I definitely want to keep vlogging, but I'm also kind of bad at vlogging. I'm kind of a shitty vlogger sometimes. I just dropped Ryan off at his mom's house because he doesn't have a car here and obviously I don't either, but I was able to borrow my dad's car. And it just, it's just weird. It feels like we're in high school again because we have to like ask our parents to like drop us off or borrow cars and stuff. So it's funny, but um, I'm going to take off my makeup and get in bed. It's Sunday and it doesn't feel like a Sunday, which is bad because I need to get into like the work grind mode. I have a lot to do at work um, this week. Last week was pretty overwhelming because I traveled and I traveled the week before for work. Um, so I have a lot of content to edit and, um, you know, I have a lot of work to do. So I need to get back in that mindset, um, cause it feels like I haven't worked in forever just because I like flew to Georgia and like have been pretty busy this whole weekend, which has made it feel like a lot longer than it actually was, which is nice. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to take my makeup off. If you guys don't know, I use these Olay daily facial wipes and all you have to do is get them wet and you like basically wash your face. It's not really like a makeup wipe. It's a uh, more like a kind of like a cleanser on a pad. So it's really cool because you can really like kind of scrub your face. It's not really abrasive or anything, but 
I love them. I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can get it up for you guys. If you guys are interested in buying a new purse, I highly recommend checking out Teddy Blake's website. They have so many cute purses, such a wide variety too. Right now would be the perfect time to get a new summer bag. So like I said, I'll have that link in the description box and I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.